Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. For those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Francesco. I am a flight attendant for a major US airline. I make travel related videos, vlogs on cruises, Disney World, my flight attending job, etc. So go check those videos out, and if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe down below and turn on the little bell to receive notifications for whenever I post my next video. On this video, I'm going to be giving you some travel tips and hacks to make your holiday travel as stress free as possible. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. First travel tip is bring your own food. Airlines don't give meals anymore unless you're traveling on a long haul international flight. And most airlines typically have food for sale on board, which I think is overpriced. So make sure to bring your own snacks. You're allowed to bring your own snacks. A lot of people don't know that you can actually bring your own food to the airport, but the only travel restriction at the airport is on liquids. So feel free to bring your chips, sandwiches, whatever you want, you are allowed to bring that with you on your next flight. Second travel tip, book directly with the airline of choice. Don't book through third-party booking engines a lot of times those websites are good for comparing prices among different airlines once you find the airline that you like go to that website and book directly through them this is gonna benefit you when it comes to picking your seats when it comes to delays and cancellations it's always best to book directly with your airline of choice without having a third-party website involved travel tip number three make sure to bring your own entertainment such as a Netflix downloaded movie a lot of airplanes don't have reliable entertainment so make sure that you bring your iPad your smart device whatever you have Go on there, download the Netflix app, not sponsored by the way. Check on the movies that are available for download and you're able to download your favorite movies, TV shows, and bring those with you on your flight. That way you'll have reliable entertainment that interests you for your whole entire flight. Travel tip number four, sit in the front of the plane. A lot of people don't like turbulence, so for those of you who don't like turbulence, this tip is for you. Make sure you sit towards the front of the airplane. The back of the airplane is always more turbulent, so try to get a seat towards the front. Travel tip number five, check your bags at the gate. A lot of airlines will offer to check your bag complimentary at the gate once you get to the aircraft so make sure you take advantage of those opportunities a lot of the time when the flights are full they'll do this so that way boarding is expedited believe it or not the less people who have carry-ons the faster the airplane boards so airlines will typically offer to check your bags for you complimentary once you arrive at the gate so make sure you go past security and get to your gate and they'll make an announcement to check your carry-on make sure you take advantage of this opportunity it will be free and they'll check it for you to your final destination travel tip number Number six, Starbucks gives free water. So if you're in the airport waiting to board the airplane to ask for some water, keep in mind that Starbucks, not sponsored, does give free water. Sorry, Starbucks employees. I don't want to make your job any harder than what it is. But yes, guys, Starbucks does give free water. So when you're in line waiting to get your favorite coffee drink, make sure to ask for some free water. They do give you complimentary water at Starbucks. So if your airport has a Starbucks, that's your place to stop for some free water. That way, you'll be hydrated for your flight. Travel tip number seven. Some airplanes don't always have power power outlets or USB outlets. Not all aircraft are consistent when it comes to amenities. So be sure to always have an external battery source fully charged to charge all of your devices during the flight. This will ensure that you have plenty of batteries to charge all of your devices that you may be using for your entertainment. Again, not all aircraft have USB or power outlet, so keep that in mind. Travel tip number eight. This travel season, if you're traveling with gift wrapped presents, don't do it. No, I'm just kidding, but really, don't do it. This is much easier if you just go to your local UPS, FedEx, again, not sponsored, and ship those gifts ahead of time prior to your flight. It is much more stress-free than boarding an airplane with gifts and that might get damaged if you put them into an overhead bin or if you're putting them underneath the seat in front of you. Go ahead and ship those gift wrap presents ahead of time prior to your flight. You'll be happy you did that. It's a much more stress-free option than having to travel on an airplane with all these gift wrap presents. Travel tip number nine. Don't wait until you get to the airport to book your seats. By the time you get to the airport, the only seats that are available are the less than desirable seats. So make sure that once you book your ticket, you go online and book your seats ahead of time. If you're traveling with someone, if you're traveling with your family member, you'll want to go online and book those seats ahead of time because by the time you get to the airport, the only thing that will be available are probably middle seats or seats that are apart from the person you're traveling with. Again, go online, book your seats prior to your day of travel. Travel tip number 10. For those of you who like to travel in first or business class, make sure you go online and pre-order your in-flight meal at least 24 hours before your departure. That way you'll have your meal of choice on your flight. Do you see the pattern here? Stress-free travel is all about planning ahead and being prepared so don't wait until the last minute 
Travel tip number 11. Make sure to always carry a pen with you when you're traveling. This will be to fill out any travel documents such as customs and immigration documents. Typically, airlines don't offer pens once on board the aircraft. So again, be prepared and carry your own pen. Travel tip number 12. Airplanes are usually very cold, so make sure that you bring your own sweater or jacket. Airlines no longer provide blankets unless you're traveling on a long haul international flight. So again, make sure to bring a sweater, jacket with you to keep you nice, warm, and comfy on your next flight. And finally, travel tip number 13. Always be nice to your flight attendants and airline employees. They have a very hard job and being nice to them can be very beneficial. So there you go guys. I hope you guys enjoyed these tips and hacks. Make sure you go down below in the comments. Let me know which travel tip was your favorite. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That really helps and share this video with your friends and family as well. Be sure to check out airporttag.com where you can get loads of travel accessories such as this and this. I have a link in my description down below that will take you to the airport tag website as well as a discount code that will give you 10% off all your purchases on airport tag. As always, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to me down below and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.